okay so problem determine the movement of energy of a rectangular section 100 mm wide and 200 mm deep about an axis passing through the centroid and parallel to 100 mm side also determine the radius of variation about the same axis and mi about its axis first of all draw the given data so section it is rectangular section it is given so draw this rectangular section The rectangular section it is given its width it is given 100 mm b is equal to 100 mm b is equal to 100 mm and depth it is given d is equal to d is equal to 200 mm 200 mm okay so first question it is about an axis passing through the center right, parallel to 100 mm so calculate the moment of inertia about the 100 mm side parallel to 100 mm side. So parallel to 100 mm side, this one it is parallel to 100 mm side. That is x axis. So this one it is x axis. This one it is x axis. X axis. Calculate first question. It is moment of inertia. Moment of inertia. Inertia. So parallel to 100 mm side means this one it is x axis. X axis. So calculate i x axis is equal to. So I accept is equal to it is B D cube by 12. So B into B into B into D cube. B into D cube. D cube divided by 12. Divided by 12. B D cube divided by 12. So B it is here 100 M. B it is here 100 m 100 m. and D it is 200 m 200 cube 200 cube divided by 12 divided by 12 so from this relation it will get I x x x x is equal to 100 into 200 cube divided by 12. So it will get 66.67 66.67 into 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4 mm raised to 4 So this unit is I x x. Okay. So next question determine the radius of gyration. So next calculate radius of gyration. Radius of Gyration radius of gyration about the same axis that is write down formula radius of gyration kx is equal to kx is equal to root of root of root of root of ixx divided by e root of ixx divided by e so calculate a on this so a is equal to cross sectional area a is equal to this b to d so b it is 100 mm 100 mm and d it is 200 mm so from this relation it will get a here. so 100 into 200 100 into 400. So it will be 20 into 10 raised to power 3. 20 into 10 raised to power 3. Mm square. Mm square. Mm square. Mm square. So this one is proportional A. So Kx is equal to put all this value here in the radius of variation equation. Kxx is equal to root of root of root of ixx. Ixx it is sixty six point six seven into ten to the power six ten to the power six divided by divided by 
area it is 20 into 10 to the power 3. Area it is 20 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 3. So from this relation you can get radius of gyration. Kxx is equal to 66.67 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 20 into 10 to the power 3 is equal to root of answer. Root of answer. So it will get 57.736. 57.736. This one it is radius of garage. Radius of garage. So next question, am I about its base? Next question, come down here. Am I about the base? Am I about its base? Am I about its base? About its base. So am I about its base? So calculate am I about the base. So just here, this one it is base of this section. Here it is A and B point. A and B. Okay. So calculate I base is equal to. So first of all, apply the parallel axis theorem. For that, we need to apply parallel, parallel axis theorem. Parallel axis theorem. So I base is equal to I base is equal to I B can say it will be I B is equal to A B is equal to A B is equal to I G plus A H square. I G plus A H square. Ig plus h square. So Ig it is here. Ig it is bd cube by 20. B into D. B into T cube. B into D cube. Divided by 12. Divided by 12. Well, plus area it is b into d into h it is d by 2 square area h it is d by 2 square d divided by 2 d divided by 2 square On this value. So BD cube by 12, we are calculated this one, it is already. So this value it is 66.67 into 10 raised to power 6 plus B into D, we are calculated 20 into 10 raised to the power 3 into D by 2 square, it will be C here. D it is 200 divided by 2 square. This one it is 10 into 10 to the power 3. 10 into 10 to the power 3. See this one. So from this relation, if you look at I base is equal to IB is equal to IB is equal to. So I know. 66.67 into 10 to the power 6 plus 20 into 100 raised to 3 into 10 into 10 to the power 3. So it will be 266.67. 266.67. Two into 10 to the power 6 mm raised to 4. mm raised to 4. Number of four. So this one it is high base. Okay. So question was first of all, find out the moment of inertia about the parallel to 
100 mm side that is ix6 ix6 we have calculated it is 66.67 into 10 to the power 6 then second question determine the radius of variation so radius of variation it is 57.736 mm so it is root of ix6 by a then next one it is mi about its base so mi about its base it is calculated by parallel axis theorem so it will be get i access i i base is equal to 266.67 into 10 to the power 6 mm raised to 4. This is your final answer.